Back to another, it's me, Cam from Cam's Club, and welcome back to another daily Chelsea transfer news video. Today, I'll be talking about Chelsea's interest in Bradley Barcelo from Lyon, Lukaku, Roman Lavia, Ryan Balogun, and Mohamed Kudos. So, if you're new around Cam from Cam's Club and I do daily Chelsea transfer news videos, like and subscribe. Let's get in the first story. Now, starting off with the big story that's coming out today, and that is regarding Lyon winger Bradley Barcelo. Now, the young French winger, under 21 international, looking like he's going to be an Elise replacement. I'm going to go to Fabrizio Romano, who has said. Bradley Barcelo wants to go to PSG, but there is no agreement between the clubs. Chelsea have only asked for the information at this stage. Leon want a player to be included in the deal. Now, John Texter is an American owner of Leon. Todd Bird is an American owner of Chelsea, so maybe there can be a lot of sweet talking. Of course, Chelsea have loads of players to offer to Leon in a swap deal. Off the top of my head, none of the players as of yet have been you know, mentioned in this swap deal, but I'll be happy with a swap deal really other than money because we all know Chelsea and FFP is going to be a bit sticky but Fabrizio Romano goes on by saying Leon want player included in the deal plus money for either Chelsea or PSG to let Bradley Barcelona leave. Now PSG are not as much of a attracting uh, place anymore with the departure of not Mbappe but Neymar and Messi. Their front three the last game was looking shoddy and it was nil-nil. Not the PSG we know and love. Of course we were linked with Rayan Cherky who is the other sided winger of Leon bit better in my eyes going to be a more expensive but maybe Chelsea just go for him instead of Barcelona but yeah that is the news from him swap deal plus money could it be the player we signed eight days left in the window so it'll be very interesting to see what attackers we look for on to the next story and from one attacker incoming I'm going to go to an outgoing and talk about Lukaku the shit that won't flush Nizar Kinsella has said Chelsea may soon face the prospect of reducing the 35 million pound asking price for Lukaku or be forced to accept loan offers to get rid of him. They also face the issues of running out of loan spots with the new rules limiting clubs to five overseas senior loans, and they have just two remaining. I'll be talking about Brendan Johnson after this second story, which says, Chelsea have also seen our Halal withdraw from the race for Romelu Lukaku after signing Mitrovic for £46 million this weekend. It raises concerns that potential Saudi route is now off the table. Now, we're looking at Brendan Johnson as a, 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 an attacking you know, he's more of a striker replacement for, not Lukaku, but we need backup in that depth. Do Chelsea turn to Lukaku for one last dance? Because if he can't be pushed out, then give him a chance. Well, no. Pochettino said no. The club have said no. So we're going to have to bite the bullet, really. £35 million is a bit of a joke. Maybe a loan deal. I'm not too sure. But enough about him. Let's talk about Brendan Johnson. Fabrizio Romano yesterday, last night, was said Chelsea appreciate Brendan Johnson as a talented player but didn't submit any bid but negotiating to sign Brendan as of today club look at different options in that position as things stand Brendan Johnson is a reoccurring attacking option that Chelsea are looking at of course the £50 million valuation for Nottingham Forest is a bit of a joke same with Florian Balogun who I'll be talking about later if we could get anywhere between 30 to 40 still expensive but there is potential there. Of course, has that Premier League experience, which Barcelona doesn't have. But I'd say Barcelona has that higher ceiling. But to pair this with Florian Balogun, I'm going to go to I am Alex Howes said. Chelsea, Inter Milan and Monaco have all inquired about the signing Arsenal striker Florian Balogun. Arsenal's valuation of the 22-year-old believed to be in the region of 50 million has meant that Chelsea have not made an offer as things stand. Yes, well, out of those three clubs, I'm pretty sure Balogun himself would like to join Chelsea. Although... Inter Milan have that, you know, Champions League football. Arsenal, of course, could, you know, what, strengthen Chelsea arrival. That could be an option against it. But then again, £50 million, get some of that Kai Havertz money back, is another option. Chelsea, of course, want a lot cheaper than that, which Fabrizio Romano has said, saying Romeo and Lavia has the same agents as Balogun. So they've talked about the possibility of signing Balogun, but there's no bid, and Arsenal won't accept something like 30 to £35 million. Well, they won't accept, and that's probably what Chelsea are willing to put aside for this attacker. Won't Elise has the deal fall through? Could we get that deal for someone like um, Balogun or Brennan Johnson? Well, hopefully, or Barcelona, looking like that price as well. We're even cheaper with a player swap. But yeah, on to the final story. Sticking with attackers, and that is my favourite of the pick of the bunch, Mohamed Kudos. Fabrizio Romano via Kickstream has said, Ajax feels some very big clubs could return in the final few days of the window to sign Mohamed Kudos. Brighton had personal terms agreed a couple of weeks ago before they could say to Malarkey. Same with West Ham, but West Ham did sign Edson Alvarez from Ajax, so will they be selling two of their players to the same club? I'm not too sure is that in favour of West Ham or against, but Chelsea, of course, 
Perth Town has been agreed for ages and biggest club of Brighton and West Ham, respectfully. Once again, the 40 million euros was quoted with the Brighton deal and looked like it was going to be close to joining. But with you know the um, with Brighton being Brighton, they wanted to have a release clause. Ajax and Kudos himself didn't want it because, of course, he sees Brighton as a stepping stone and didn't want to be put off players like Casado having you know being held hostage at Brighton. But yeah, that is the Kudos deal. I think when it gets close to the end of the window, we'll be focusing on Kudos the most. I think he's the best player of the pickle of the bunch. But that's all the stories for today. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Well, hopefully, we narrow down the list and get rid of Lukaku. See you.